Today, this woman finally admitted she is part of a stunning scheme to trick teens from other countries into coming here illegally to play sports. Channel 9 promised to follow the case against Evelyn Mack after we broke news of an investigation in 2016. Well, today we had the only crew in federal court. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Barber questioned her to learn why this case isn't over, even though she's pleaded guilty. When Evelyn Mack was here in federal court a few months ago, she said she wasn't guilty and asked for a jury trial. Today's hearing here in court was a 180 degree reversal of that. She pleaded guilty in this case that boils down to human trafficking. And we need an opportunity to evaluate the case and look at the right thing to do. Evelyn Mack kept her face and her emotions hidden behind her large sunglasses and her large hat while her attorney answered all my questions. Federal investigators say Mack is one of the cunning masterminds behind a bizarre international human trafficking scheme. The government says she made $75,000 by hiding 75 foreign student athletes who were in the country illegally. What do you have to say to the student athletes, all the families that you lied to? She didn't lie to anybody. Lie to she, anybody. Didn't have, she didn't have anything further anybody. than that to say. Thank you. So what are you guilty of then? All right, keep on walking. The government says Max set up a private school in Charlotte and used it to promise foreign teens they'd play at a prominent school with scholarship offers. Instead, prosecutors say those athletes vanished in the hands of greedy recruiters and basketball coaches. Some reappeared in towns more than 100 miles away and others were missing for months. Does she have any remorse? Any apologies? All things in their time, my friend. This is not that time. Thank you. Mac could face a lot of time in prison by pleading guilty today. As part of her agreement, the deal all but guarantees she won't be sentenced to anything more than 10 years. And we're still at the uh, probably the middle phase of the process, but uh, we're looking forward to everything being good for Ms. Mack. When it comes to time in prison, prosecutors are still putting together their final recommendation for the judge. Until that's settled, Mack will be out of jail on bond. Reporting here outside the federal courthouse, Mark Barber, Channel 9 Witness News. One of the other suspected masterminds in the human trafficking ring is this man, Eris Hines. He was also arrested, but he remains behind bars on a $2 million bond.